wanted to show you guys my Moto Bacane Fly 29 titanium hardtail frame. Um, give you some weights here. About 1640 or 1650. Um, this is a medium, and I believe this is a second generation. Um, I think they had a first generation that didn't have shaped tubes. Um, the second generation, the uh, the tubes are shaped a little bit more, and they're currently introducing the third generation that has a tapered head tube and uh, a curved seat tube, I believe. But anyway, um, I want to show you that. And I wanted to put it on the park tabletop scale. Just to double check here. It's uh, 1643, 45. Um, this weight does include the derailleur hanger and the FSA Orbit XL2 headset. FSA lists that being about 103 grams. So, you know, this is roughly 1540, 1550 grams for the frame. Um, I haven't ridden this frame yet, but the build quality seems to be good. The welds are, are pretty nice. Um, seems like a seems like a nice frame. I'm excited to get on it. Here's the bike finished. Uh, I've ridden about three times so far and really enjoying it. Um, I use mostly parts that I've had laying around. Uh, the Tower Pro fork is new, but uh, these these wheels and tires are off of my Specialized. Uh, they're not especially light. <laughs> they're, they're not tubeless. It's a 1x9 drive train that I had laying around with a 24 tooth front chain ring, um, carbon seat post, saddle, uh, carbon bar, but um, anyway, I'll uh, put the full build specs in the, in the about section, but just wanted to show you what it looks like done. Here's the bike on the scale, 25.66.71, um, somewhere in there. Um, 11.68, tough to tell because of the, the wind out here. Um, the bike has 203 millimeter rotors, a rotor on the front and 185 on the back, so I'm gonna change those and lighten it up, uh, change the pedals probably. Should be getting it down to 25 pretty easily. Anyway, thanks for uh, watching. Let me know if you got any questions.